Manchester United News and Transfers Recap Latest Man United vs PSG News and Luis Suarez Latest Manchester United manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer sat down with the media earlier today to preview tomorrow night's Champions League round of 16 first leg tie against Paris Saint-Germain. The caretaker manager has overseen 10 wins from his 11 games in temporary charge at Old Trafford and will lead his side out against an injury-depleted PSG outfit. Nmr. Edenson Cavani and Serge Moynier are all set to miss out for the Ligue 1 champions but Solskjaer insisted that his side are confident regardless. I think the squad is very capable of winning against anyone and we go into games confident in our form we are looking forward to the game, he said. We just have to look at PSG and take the next challenge as it comes. I've been pleased with the attitude. We will bring you all the latest news and the build-up to United's game against PSG throughout the evening. The Manchester United boards have made their mind up on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as they have decided he will be named permanent manager of the club, according to a report in the Sunday the Norwegian was originally given the job on a temporary basis until the end of the season after the sacking of Jose Mourinho but has impressed having changed the mood in the dressing room and going on an 11-game unbeaten run. The decision has been made at board level, the report claims, although the club may not announce it until the end of the season. Avram Glazer was at United's game on Saturday and it is claimed that while the club will publicly state the search is still ongoing for Moreno's successor, they've decided the search is over. A touch of class. There are some belters in here. An interesting take from Adrian Durham here, who appears to deem a career at the highest peak of world football as comfortable. I'm not so sure. It was interesting to hear Thomas Tuchel admit that United go into tomorrow night's game as the favourites. Perhaps it's a way of taking the pressure off his players but a club with Paris Saint-Germain's ambitions should surely see United as a beatable side, even in their current guise. PSG are still to make a tangible dent on the Champions League and you wonder how long it will take for them to do so. Mbappé prelishing the big stage Paris Saint-Germain manager Thomas Tuchel was asked about the pressure on Kylie and Mbappé's shoulders to step up and perform in the absence of Nrandidans and Cavani at Old Trafford on Tuesday night yet that line of questioning served to undervalue the 20-year-old status at the Ligue 1 leaders. No player has scored more goals or provided more assists than the France international for PSG this season and the more pressing issue for Tunchel is the extent to which the world's most expensive teenager can showcase his talent on the biggest stage without Nmer's opulence impairing his acclaim. Mbapp had a menacing look in his eye during PSG's open training session and it would be far from surprising to see his ferocious pace cause Manchester United's questionable backline untold difficulty particularly with his remarkable knack for taking the biggest of occasions in his stride. Manchester City were made aware of that ability in 2016, with Mbappe belying his tender age with a goal in Monaco's 5-3 victory at the Etihad. If United are to take a positive result into the second leg, finding a way to limit the World Cup winner will be vital. Read more analysis from PSG's first taste of Old Trafford, here. Manchester United face competition from China to prize Luis Suarez from Barcelona, according to reports in Spain. The 32-year-old, who took the Premier League by storm during his three-and-a-half seasons at Liverpool, has scored 15 La Liga goals in 22 games this season. Barcelona sits six points clear of Real Madrid at the top of the Spanish first division, with Suarez the league's second-highest scorer behind Lionel Messi. Geo Digital claim that United are monitoring the Uruguay International's situation at the camp, with Chinese clubs also reported to be circling. It is, of course, highly unlikely to see Liverpool's former number 7 turn out at Old Trafford any time soon. United's transfer policy under executive vice chairman Ed Woodward has seen the club target players below the age of 27, with the exception of Zlatan Ibrahimovic to ensure prolonged value for any financial outlay and there is nothing to suggest United will make a move. Manchester United face competition from China to prize Luis Suarez from Barcelona, according to reports in Spain. The 32-year-old, who took the Premier League by storm during his three-and-a-half seasons at Liverpool, has scored 15 La Liga goals in 22 games this season.
Barcelona sits six points clear of Real Madrid at the top of the Spanish first division, with Suarez the league's second highest scorer behind Lionel Messi. Geo Digital claim that United are monitoring the Uruguay international's situation at the camp, with Chinese clubs also reported to be circling. It is, of course, highly unlikely to see Liverpool's former number seven turn out at Old Trafford any time soon. United's transfer policy under executive vice chairman Ed Woodward has seen the club target players below the age of 27, with the exception of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, to ensure prolonged value for any financial outlay and there is nothing to suggest United will make a move. Buffon, Kerr, T. Silva, Kimpembe, Burnett, Verti, Markenhose, D. Alves, Jerksler, Di Maria. Mbappe Victor Lindelof and Marcus Rashford are both in the Manchester United squad ahead of the Champions League fixture against Paris Saint-Germain on Tuesday night. The squad in full, goalkeepers, De G, Romero, Grant. Defenders, Bailey, Shaw, Smalling, Jones, Young, Dalot, Lindelof. Midfielders, Pogba, Fred, Pereira, Matic, Mctominay, Mata, Herrera. Forwards, Lukaku, Sanchez, Marshall, Lingard, Rashford. Thomas Tunchell has highlighted the dangerous Manchester United pairing of Paul Pogba and Anthony Marshall as a major threat to his side's hopes of getting a result at Old Trafford. The duo scored the goals in United's 3-0 win over Fulham on Saturday and both have been in excellent form under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Pogba has eight Premier League goals under Solskjaer while Marshall has 11 for the season and has shown throughout the campaign. Tuchel was full of praise for the incredible Pogba and revealed he could tell how much he was loving playing for United now. Read the full story here. Patrice Evra has sent an impassioned message to players and supporters ahead of tomorrow. PSG midfielder Julian Dritzler spoke to Angel Di Maria ahead of the trip to Old Trafford. The PSG manager is looking to ease the pressure on their main man ahead of tomorrow. It is no surprise to see this story emerge the night before a massive match against the French champions. United have reportedly entered the race to sign Paris Saint-Germain's midfielder Adrien Rabiot this summer. The Frenchman is out of contract at the end of the season and according to Spanish outlet Az, United have now emerged as the latest Premier League team to show an interest in the 23-year-old. The visitors will train on the Old Trafford pitch this evening ahead of the game tomorrow night. This tweet sums up the incredible impact Paul Scholes will have on lower league football. Former United forward Louis Saha believes Kyle Mbappe will prove the difference tomorrow night. The United legend was speaking at his first press conference as Oldham manager. Fred insists he is raring to go ahead of Manchester United's fixture against Paris Saint-Germain on Tuesday night despite a recent lack of football. The Brazil international says is is ready to go for the Champions League knockout first leg despite not having played for the first team since Boxing Day of last year. Fred was left out of the squad which defeated Fulham on Saturday afternoon, the third time he has missed out completely from the previous seven match day squads. Taking to social media on Monday afternoon the pound 52 million summer signing posted, ready for tomorrow. Come on Manchester United. Along with picture of himself at first team training. 57% of Manchester United's goals in the Champions League this season have been scored after the 85th minute, 4 out of 7. This news has been largely swamped by the pre-match press conference, but Ashley Young's contract extension was officially announced earlier. Here is his reaction. Anthony Marshall says Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is asking him to attack more than former Manchester United manager Jose Mourinho. Marshall embarked on a run of six Premier League goals and five games under Mourinho in October and November but his future at United was uncertain after he wanted to leave the club in the summer. The 23-year-old signed a five-year contract last month and drew comparisons with Cristiano Ronaldo by scoring a virtuoso solo goal in the weekend win at Fulham in the Premier League. That goal all but confirmed a starting role for Marshall in the round of 16 Champions League first leg with Paris Saint-Germain on Tuesday night. Solskjaer has enhanced the majority of United players since he was appointed caretaker coach on December 19 and Marshall has scored three times in the Norwegian's 11 games.
Marshall revealed he has more of an attacking license under the current United manager. Read the full story here. Among the 16 managers left in this season's Champions League, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is one of three to have won it as a player, with Man United in 1999, alongside Pep Guardiola, with Barcelona in 1992, and Sandy Solari, with Real Madrid in 2002. Anthony Marshall has suggested United find it easier to play under Solskjaer. Solskjaer will be speaking the media very shortly, and we've got updates for you. Click here to read what he's got to say. Breaking news. Here he is with Marco Verdi. Mbapp is here. A familiar face was in attendance at Carrington this morning as Ryan Giggs watched training this morning. He knows all too well what it takes to win in those big Champions League matches. The club website have confirmed Scholes is the new Oldham manager. Speaking about the appointment, owner Abdallah Lemzagam said, Paul has won everything there is to win in football. He is a man who will bring a lot of footballing knowledge and his hunger to succeed in management will be there for everyone to see. It's no secret how much he has wanted this job in the past and how much he loves this club, so I'm very happy to bring him into our family at Oldham Athletic. Paul will have my backing 100% and hopefully we can work together to bring success back to this club.